How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. First expansion is something we are still waiting for news on. When it's coming out and what it's going to be are still things we have no idea about. Well we have a bit more news on when we might get this information and we've also got a new theory, a new rumour that's been going around very recently about the first expansion being Jurassic Park. I've got my alarm going off. Yes, so there's a rumour going around about the first expansion being Jurassic Park, Jurassic World collaboration type thing. I'm going to explain why in this video and we're just going to have a bit of a discussion about it. If you do enjoy this video guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Helps out massively. Let's get into it. Now I do need to remind you all that this Jurassic Park theory is just a theory. It's just so something that people have started to notice over time. It could be something, it could be nothing. We're just having a bit of a discussion about it as I said. Now we'll start off with the most recent news we have on the first expansion from Mike Brown himself just a few days ago on when we are going to hear about the first expansion. Somebody asked him on the live stream a few days ago and this was his response. Uh, Abba G, wow, asking a question for a nation here, says, hey Tom, when will expansion one release? Um, so for expansion one, uh, right now, uh, the team is hard at work on monthly content, mm -hmm. updates like this one you've just seen. Yeah. Uh, and also we're working on some new stuff as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be talking about that soon, uh, but not today. But the elephant in the room is answered. It's being worked on, folks. It's on the way. Quite a good response, if you ask me. He didn't say, stop thinking about the expansion. It's not going to be anytime soon. What he replied with is the best possible answer, to be honest. Not going to talk about it just yet, but soon. That is the word that he used. That doesn't really tell us anything about when it could be. Soon could be in a month. It could be next week. We don't know. It could be in two months. But at least it's good to see that it's not miles away and, uh, and that we're not being told to forget about the first expansion anytime soon. Now let's talk about the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World theory. A few people on the, the recent Forza Horizon 5 live streams and a few people on the forums have well as well have noticed that in all of the recent Horizon 5 Let's Go streams, there's been quite a lot of dinosaur references, dinosaur related jokes and just talking about dinosaur related things. Back in series 5 in winter there was a challenge to smash 15 dinosaur pinatas. That's nothing too special, that was just sort of glossed over. But it is dinosaur related. However in series 6 there is yet again another dinosaur challenge. And when they did their live stream a few days ago they really seemed to they really seem to want to talk about the whole aspect of this challenge being dinosaur related. I'm going to play on screen right now the little section where they talked about this challenge and I want you to take note of how enthusiastic Mike is about this challenge being dinosaur related. He seems to get quite excited about it, sort of ask Torben. It just seems quite dramatic. Sure, okay, that makes sense. Find and smash 15 T-Rexes. Torben, what's that? Yeah, it's T-Rexes. Uh, you can find them and smash them. Uh, it's yes, uh, and they are they are wonderfonderfully colorful T rexes they do look it um, they look very exciting and is this following the trend? I think we said it on the last show, but is that a new item that will then be added to event lab? Do we know if that's on the way sure or? Yeah. yeah let's let's just Okay. Commit to that. Yeah. Maybe I'll update. Um. <laughs> now, people in the community have noticed this and thought maybe they're doing this for a reason. Maybe this is just a slight hint towards the fact that we should be looking and you know taking the whole dinosaur thing seriously. And maybe, just maybe, they're teasing towards something. This is exactly what they did with the Eliminator a few years ago for Horizon 4. They did sort of they purposely mentioned the clue that they were giving us and sort of talked about it and then glossed over it, just like they're doing with the dinosaur challenge. What I want you guys to also do is let us know in the comment section below if you've spotted any other dinosaur related references, hints or anything dinosaur related from Playground Games or Forza over the past few weeks or even months just to see how many there actually are. Now this brings me to my next point about does a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World crossover Horizon 5 expansion make sense? Would it work? How would it work? Does it make sense? Based on the Forza release timeline on when all of the expansions have come out in the past and when all of the games have released in the past, we can predict and we have always been able to predict that the first Horizon 5 expansion will be within the next couple of months, in the first six to seven months of this year. This does add up with what Mike Brown said about hearing about it soon. E3 is a popular place to announce expansions, just like the LEGO expansion for Horizon 4, and E3 is within a couple of months. And what else is within a couple of months? 
the new Jurassic World movie. There is a new installment to the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park dinosaur movie sort of timeline and that movie is coming out within the next couple of months. It's a brand new movie. It releases on the 10th of June, which again, if our predictions and estimations are correct about the first expansion releasing within the next couple of months, it just adds up and it would make sense for it to be around a new Jurassic World movie. And when you look into it a little bit further, there are even more things that make sense as well, such as the location of Jurassic World. The Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies were set on a few sort of make-believe islands. However, these islands are known to be 120 miles west of Costa Rica. And if you look at the map, 120 miles of Costa Rica is very close to Mexico. And obviously Mexico is where Horizon 5 is. So it's certainly, it would make sense for a Jurassic World map expansion to be added to Horizon 5. It's very close to Mexico, just like the real movies. There's a new movie coming out within a couple of months, which is when the new expansion is predicted to come out. What do you guys think? Is this making sense? Are people correct? Are these theories actually believable? We can then sort of think about what a Jurassic World expansion would have within the game. How would it work within the game? Would it make sense? I mean, yeah, sort of. There are quite a few vehicles within Jurassic Park movies that they could add to Horizon 5. Quite a few of them are just paint jobs. However, there's still vehicle related things that could be added. They could add more vehicles to the game which have dinosaur related names within the manufacturer or the model. One example is the Yamaha Raptor. Now, the reason I mentioned the Yamaha Raptor is because this vehicle is within the Horizon 5 files and it's been leaked already. It's got the word Raptor in the name and you know, Raptor is a dinosaur. There's lots of possibilities. We could end up with things like showcase remixes where we're chasing a Velociraptor or getting chased by a velociraptor. You could have challenges where you need to find a T-Rex in the wild and take a photo of it. There's just lots of possibilities that Forza could do with a Jurassic World crossover expansion. The only thing which doesn't make sense, which I'm sure quite a few of you are going to comment about if you haven't already, is the fact that the first expansion for every Horizon game isn't usually a collaboration. Fortune Island, Blizzard Mountain, those weren't really collaborations, those were just maps. The second expansion, which is Lego and Hot Wheels, that's always the collaboration one. Now this brings me to the point of, you know, playground games, they can change things up. You know, they're not required to have the first expansion be a map and the second expansion be a collaboration. They're allowed to do whatever they want, it's their game. We're just going off what happened in the past for all the most accurate predictions. So it's certainly possible that the first expansion is a, you know, a Jurassic crossover expansion and then the second one is a new map. There might even be more than two, you never know. As I said guys, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below your predictions, your opinions on this whole thing, just in general about when you expect the first expansion to release and also what you expect it to be. Not necessarily Jurassic Park related if you don't believe in that, but we did get news from Mike Brown that whatever it is, it is gonna have some information soon. When soon is, we'll hopefully soon find out. That's it for today's video guys, I hope I've covered everything, it's very interesting to see. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and I'll see you all later.